so guys I'm here to show you guys how I achieve this color close to my skin tone I'll try to like make it as as close as possible just using two ingredients so you guys want to see how I did that <coughs> I have like a smoker's voice, what the hell? It's so weird. I'll be able to see how I did that. Stay tuned and let's get right into the video. Wait, come back, come back, come back. Originally, I was gonna dye this a color, but I said, you know what? I wanna interact with my viewers and I'm making one of you guys choose. Um, yeah, so let's get right back to the video. So hey guys, I'm here with a kinky weave that I've had again from over a year now that I'm gonna lighten with some bleach and straighten it. So I'm gonna be demonstrating for that for you guys today. I'm just going ahead and brushing through the hair to make sure I take out any knots or tangles because I just had it lying around for a time now. I haven't been really wearing it lately. Then I'm gonna section out from the back to the top. I like working from the back to the top. And I'm just putting the, applying the bleach to the hair directly and smoothing it out, working it from the bottom up. Yes, I know, I'm still trying my mom, working in her space, trying to, you know, pray to God nothing falls on this woman's stuff. Because Lord knows, I mean, she's going to see the video and I might, <laughs> if y'all don't see me upload next week, it's because I got some real licks that have me disabled. Anyways. <laughs> You want to make sure you you work the bleach through the hair, not leaving any dark spots. So I'm bleaching on top and I'm bleaching on the bottom. Make sure everywhere is getting some of the bleach. I'm also going to be working my fingers through it, seeing if there's any spots missing. Make sure I get those with the bleach as well. Um, and then just working it through the hair so it's evenly distributed. You definitely, definitely want to be wearing gloves and a mask for this process. The chemicals... Um, they're very strong and inhaling too much of it. I don't think it's great for your health So I would definitely recommend wearing a bleach for if you're gonna be bleach wearing a mask if you're gonna be um, Using bleach. It's a very strong smell and definitely wear a glove because if it gets on your skin I'm telling you the feeling that burning feeling you would you will not like it at all So it's pretty repetitive. I'm gonna just stop talking and you guys see what I'm doing, just all over. here after 30 minutes of bleach I went ahead and washed it out deep condition it and then BAM line is out to play now time to straighten her so before I straighten her hair I did apply some Remy leave-in conditioner and I'm also using an Italian brand called Fenty that's the brand of my straightener now what you don't want to do which is passingly fast is leave the straightener in one place for too long because it will make that dent I try to repass straightener over it but it's still stayed, but I mean, it's in the back. Nobody's really seeing it. Um, I do like the straightener. However, I find I have to pass it over one straight of like one strand of hair or strand of hair um, many times for it to get as straight as possible. It could be because this hair was kinky. That's why. I will also give it a try on a straight weave that I have to see if it's the hair, the text, the texture of the hair, which is why I have to keep passing it over and over or if it's simply just a straightener. So what you guys are seeing, I'm just repeating these steps over again. Uh, I try to brush it out as much as possible before passing the straightener so it can have um, like a, a bone, so it can come out as bone straight as possible. And it's pretty much repetitive again, so I'm gonna stop talking and just let you guys, you know, have fun watching.
Okay, because I don't want anyone coming for me. Well, I don't really care who wants to come for me. Come now. Anyways, you will realize that when I part out the hair, it's looking slanted. That's only because I, like, just placed the cap on the head slanted. I didn't sew it on slanted. Um, it's just how I placed her back on the head. So, come for me, don't come for me. Either way, I am ready. <laughs> just wanted to cut it up for you guys. So, yeah, enjoy watching. to the front with the heat I try my best to like not leave it too long on it because it has been bleached and with the heat I don't want it to break off too much and leave any ball spots so I took my time there so guys I got this to be the complexion of my skin how it's bleached and some developer and checking on it to make sure it's at the color that I want it to be um originally though um, I was gonna dye the color, but I said, you know what? I don't really interact with you guys. Well, I do, but like only in my intros and outros. So I said, I'm gonna give you guys, my viewers, a chance to pick a color for me. I, we can't always keep doing blondes. Like, people want to see other things. That's why they're watching you. You know, they want to see different things. Um, so I just put my ears on just to be extra, extra, extra my makeup for y'all. You know, so I think I'm mad pretty for you guys, eh? I bleached the hair once, left it on for maybe 20 minutes, then I washed it with the purple, shampooed it with some macadamia oil, it's close to like, it's close to like the Moroccan oil type of brand shampoo, um, and then I deep conditioned it for about 30 minutes, rinsed it out, and then I straight, so I will be dyeing it since that was my initial plan, I want you guys to pick with me which color we're going to do on this hair, yeah, icy mint, you know, but for kiss, I see men. Do we have a light heart, light, light green heart? No, mm, we have a dark heart, a dark green heart. Um, I guess you guys can comment like a snowflake for the ice mint, or the green heart for emerald, or simply just use your words and just type emerald green or icy mint. Keep it simple, right? Someone told me I look bold today. I like that word. That word. Bold. Drop some ideas in the comments. I do have a lot of ideas that I want to share with you guys, but I want to make sure that I'm sharing things that you guys are interested in. Also, like, that's the major part. I want to make sure you guys are interested in what I'm putting up, you know? So, drop some ideas of what you guys want to see. Um, I will definitely, even if i never done it, I will definitely try to do it, and I will demonstrate it. I will film it so we can go through that together whether it's a trial and error or I get it the first time I'm game to go on the journey with you guys as well one of the main things with this hair too that I really wanted to see was the quality and so far this is quality here quality I'm gonna definitely play around and see the longevity I'm gonna go ahead and dye it and see how it takes to dye um, I just want to see like where is my money going like is it investing in some good guys when I got it I usually always look for deals <laughs> sometimes they say like the cheaper the hair the shittier shittier it is but anyone that knows bleach knows that bleach is very harsh and the way this hair feels there is no harshness in it it is it's feeling rich okay rich <laughs> 
guys. I'm done talking. This is too much now. So have a good night and have a blessed weekend. Bye.